What's up, Blue Chips? Ended up with five total trades today. Let's get to it. All right, traders. So starting off with JKS, that was our first trade of the day. This one actually was a little bit annoying in hindsight because I broke my rules just to start the trade. As you can see, we don't like playing double tops, but that's exactly what we did. And it ended up putting us into a little bit of a spot, but... When a trade's going against you all on one move like that, I have no problem taking a little bit more risk on knowing that it's a high probable setup. Unfortunately, we started this thing way early trying to play that double top and that is just not part of the strat. The strat is to let it extend through previous resistance and then look to get in, which if we would have done that, it would have been a much easier and much better trade. And we actually would still be holding some of our position because if we're using pivot points as an exit, not once did it go above a previous pivot point and we would still be holding on to this. So a little upset with myself here on JKS to start the day off, but it did end up being a green trade. So we can't complain about that. The next trade was BOX or box. This was right off the scanner. As you can see, this was exactly what we look for through previous resistance, extends itself away. Look for those key levels. We were looking for around 10. We actually looked over to the daily or actually the 15 minute chart um, from about four days ago. And we were right near some previous resistance there as well. So that was what started our position. We were looking to play this through 10 if it got there. It did not. We had the one single entry, took it down right towards that previous resistance and we were good to go. The next trade was on KR. This was a descending triangle that we had saw form. A nice little para move here. Started into a descending triangle and it just didn't work. So we put our uh, stop out right above a previous pivot point there, figuring if it hit that pivot point, the odds are it was going to be a failed descending triangle. That's exactly what happened. As you can see, it actually squeezed up quite a bit right after we got out. And there we go. Could be something to look into in the future, seeing these failed descending triangles or ascending triangles. A lot of the times when they do fail, they tend to squeeze. So it could be one of those times where you could look to switch your position over and then use that descending triangle area that you were looking for a flush uh, as a stop. So it could be something because I've, I've started to notice that a lot um, over the course of playing these descending and ascending triangles. So at the same time, we were also in S fix S F I X. This was a nice little para. It extended itself. As you can see, this was a double top. It tried to find resistance there. It did not. It squeezed through a uh, nice little squeeze. We jumped in, gave us a little bit of a pullback, but did not quite give us what we were looking for. We wanted it to get back down towards that previous resistance. And then after that, it decided to stop us out at high of day, and that actually ended up being the top, unfortunately. So that's going to happen. It was a small loss, not a big deal. And as you can see, it would have worked out in the end. But again, uh, not really. As you guys could see, uh, like if we go back to KR real quick, you don't know whether it's going to stop right where it's at or if it's going to squeeze up. And in the case of KR, it, it kept on going, it squeezed up. In the case of SIFX, it happened to just be a little bit of a fake out. So not gonna be mad about it, it happens, and that's that. So we ended the stream, or actually I didn't end the stream, I had to go change a poopy diaper. And then I came back, and as I sat back down to start my video, uh, UNFI popped up on the scanners. Now, we've played this in the last, we've played this the last two days, because it's one of the ones that hasn't been on SSR because it's one of the food companies that is actually profiting from all of the virus talk that's going on because everything's getting shut down. So UNFI naturally being a place that could still make money is uh, starting to go up. So as you can see, previous resistance here, it poked through, uh, started to come back down, and then it went through again on a nice big extend extended candle. So when we get these big green candles, when you can see it's bigger than all the relative candles from previous in the day, we look for an entry, right? And we were right near a whole dollar as well. So we were looking to play this through 11 if it wanted to continue. We actually found the top, put our order right out above this previous resistance, right over 1050, and that was another quick winner. So we ended up going three for five today. The two losses that we had were a little bit on the smaller side, so they weren't that big of a deal, and we ended up green. So went three for five and we had a, a decent green day and we're going to move on to tomorrow. So like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Always appreciate that support. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Peace.